Sweet, true cinema. I definitely recommend it to everyone. Let's go! But, on a, but in all seriousness, here's my actual review for it. So, oh, here's the first thing I need to say that I have to give this movie the fee that no other game, other video game adaptation has done at all. And that is the best soundtrack yet. No, nothing has had as much enjoyable music as this movie. Because you can check, I, I checked like a bunch of other ones. Like I think I went back to maybe let's see, even all the old ones. Like because I know Sonic, MK. Um, hey, I'm trying. I gotta remember the whole list now. But I just know none of them had like all the iconic songs that this movie had. Because this had like so the the the, the OST is everything I want in a video game movie because that's that's why the music is important because when people say that's not actual music it's really dumb because the music is really iconic and yet you don't people still have a hard time seeing that because there's just so many good tracks in the in the games that need to be added into the actual adaptation that make make it way more enjoyable than you think. If the if the next if the next few adaptations do not have the iconic music, uh, I'm rating them low. I'm I'm sorry, and, and they might have to be low for me. Cause after after this movie, I I'm seeing them way different now. I'll tell you that right now. I'm seeing them a lot. I'm seeing the other adaptations a lot differently after Mario. I'm telling you that right now. Cinematography blew my mind. Mushroom Kingdom, incredible. The, the Kong jungle blew my mind. The bits of Bowser's castle all blew my mind. Characters were all solid. I will say though, Lu Lu Luigi did, I'd say, I'd say Luigi like only got a little bit of time to shine, but it was worth it though. Luigi got that time is shining um, completely. I Luigi definitely got his moments. I, I will give him that, but for most of it, he didn't have much. But it, it paid off in the end with Luigi. From Luigi, though, everyone else was great because Br Cranky was great for the Kongs, and, and I also loved his design as well. Oh, but, um, yeah! My gosh, I gotta talk about the Kongs. Oh my God! My gosh, the Kongs! <laughs> Ooh. Well, how long do I gotta wait? How long do I gotta wait to see to see Banana Slammer in action after that whole movie? Because the the cons, there, there was just so much love that we put into the cons with both. Just like the one, the sides, the, the ones that were on the sideline was for that were side characters, and then just Donkey Kong in general were just a whole blast and definitely will just carry a whole movie. Toad, I'd say, he did like a little bit, but he, he, he was just there for a ride. I, I'm so, he was pretty much there for the ride, just making every moment enjoyable. And I, I think Keegan was, was having like the time of his life, just um, with all his dialogue, because he had probably had the most fun dialogue to hear throughout the whole movie. Peach might, That'll probably be my favorite adaptation of her character overall, too, because that a, a lot of her scenes were pretty much a lot of my favorites as well, especially for Peach in general. Because, for, again, even though she's just like, supposed to be the damsel in distress, I like this way more. And if y'all hate her being, not being a damsel in distress, then let me tell you, do not make me use this item box. I am bringing the fury. Alright. Now, let us talk about the man himself, Bowser. So, yeah, as we all, everyone knew, Bowser was going to be probably one of the big favorites, and yeah, he definitely was, but I will say, not my favorite though, because I already have like my favorites already been slated already, but he is definitely a fan favorite for a lot of people. I know that for sure. And the two, the songs that he was given were great. I, I was, I was surprised by what song he was gonna have, but he just sounds so good, and it's Jack Black, so you, 
You can definitely second it to the sound of fire every time. Now, let's take, talk about the big man himself. His character, a lot in, in this version, reminded me so much of Super Show. Uh, I, and I really mean that, because um, for if you see like a bit of the cartoons as well, you just see he has this never give up attitude, which I loved a lot for a lot of the scenes, because you see him just like struggling a lot, and yet you just see him get back up over and over again. And I like seeing that a lot with Mario, because you don't really just see him have like moments where he's like giving up, and I think that was like a great depiction for him a lot. As for the voice, I definitely, I would, I definitely enjoyed Chris Pratt a lot. I was going to just, I enjoyed Chris Pratt in general because I loved him in Guardians. I loved him from Parks and Rec, my, um, one of my family's favorite actors. But um, he definitely did great doing the whole, the whole Mario voice. Because even I know people are going to like somewhat find it disagreeable, but. It's, it's fine because for me it was it was still great overall because he's gonna have like a lot of moments where you're like oh my gosh it's, that, there's no way he pulled that off it, it, he really pulled off a great depiction of Mario and I'm happy he was able to pull it off a lot of the trailers they just showed so much that they they were close to just putting out both a lot of major things but I they did a good job for keeping the last, the final act silent. The, I, the, the final, they did great keeping the final act silent, which was very important because the final act, you were gonna be so blown away by that. That was probably one of my favorite final acts I've ever seen yet. The fights? The fights were really up there. Their fights are really up there. I'd, I'd say they went a mile further than how um, the so Sonic movie made it because the the fights made it really seem like it was an actual like a full on boss fight uh, between the characters and almost felt like you were just watching a smash a smash match go down right before your eyes. It was like that in a lot of ways, especially for both like the one on ones was what like I'd say yeah one of the one on one fights and for the army attacks the army. The, the ones involving the army were really chaotic. That, all, that pretty much felt like a whole level mixed in with, I'd say, if you were like playing out a Warriors game. Now, the other thing, of course, that really just puts it above a lot of other movies for me was just the amount of references and Easter egg you get because I know I know you just get that a lot for um, adaptations but this one just like went a mile further and not just could include um, this like basic Mario ones. You even get like some from past games that I can't even say that I'm gonna keep silent but they just go the extra mile with so many of them. It really just gets you in the feels that to know that you're, you grew up with it. especially for me when I because again I'm a big Super Show fan, so I, when I heard the song, I nearly just lost my mind just hearing that song. Just thinking about when I had the, uh, when I got the four discs from Target, from Target that my parents bought me, and it had all 24 episodes, was, so that's probably one of the most memorable moments I've had from watching the show, because those, that, those show, that show was my childhood for me, along with X, Sonic X. But aside from Luigi, I I think that might be it. I don't think I really had any other problems because you just have because the plot might of course also be simple, but it's just such an enjoyable ride that you're just gonna get real. You're just gonna get so engaged with so of everything that's going on that you really don't find much criticism with what was going on, and I'm very happy to see that that there is always something that very engaging even if it's like I'd say like a small talk it's still engaging for everyone to watch and I'm happy that that's how it went down for a lot of this. I hate the numbering system for ratings so so I stick to letters so I am going to go with an S rank I'm giving this S rank all right S rank it's right in S rank all right it is 
S tier. All right. I can't wait to do a full-on spoiler one because that one I I think is never gonna end. I might I think I might just make that into a stream, but I'm also gonna do a podcast with my friends on it because <laughs> we have so much to talk about that it's never going to end between us. We're just gonna be up so long talking about it, but. I will say, but de- please, check out the movie, you're just going to fall in love with it, and I need more people to talk about it as we speak, so thank y'all for listening to my review, go look, go check out that movie, and until next time, do the Mario! Do the Mario! Swing your arms from side to side, come on, it's time to go! Do the Mario! Take one step, and then again, let's do the Mario! now come on now just like that